The city of Antwerp, or Antwerpen in the local language, is the core of a metropolitan region housing around 1.2 million people on the River Skelt in Belgium. With its large port, Antwerp has been a very important city throughout history. You can still find quaint little houses, but also the first real skyscraper on the European continent from 1932. And Antwerp keeps modernizing, also with regard to cycling. A lot of Antwerp's infrastructure is currently being transformed and updated. Also in the historic city centre, where high-speed trains arrive in a deep tunnel. Antwerp Central Station is a beautiful expression of Antwerp's importance at the beginning of the 20th century. This well-known station has received several awards for belonging to the world's most beautiful station buildings. What fewer people may know is that the square in front of it gives access to an underground bicycle parking garage that opened in 2006. There's room to park 1,000 bicycles for free, which can be securely locked. Unfortunately, there are some social safety issues, especially at night when there is no guard. To improve that situation, there was talk of introducing parking fees. It was surprising to suddenly hear cars driving in the cycle parking. As it turns out, there is also a car parking garage under this square. There are also toilets and a bike repair shop. The historic city centre is partly pedestrianised. In some of the streets, cycling is allowed. Many streets in the centre still allow cars, although some of the connections have been closed off. Antwerp still is a car city, but it is also clear that some things are changing. Not only the buildings, but also the streetscape. And you can see attention is given to cycling. This main road used to be primarily dedicated to the private car until just a couple of years ago. But Antwerp brought the tram line back and reduced the space for cars significantly. There is still a lot of space for motor vehicles, but there are also great cycleways with a surface of smooth red asphalt. It is a pity that this street has unnecessary conflicts due to the design. By letting the surface street and cycleway change places several times, you get potential conflicts that could have been avoided by keeping the cycleway on the outside of the surface street. Light phases are quite long on this very wide street. It makes you wonder why these people don't all cross on the overpass in the distance. That looks like a nice alternative. But unfortunately, this overpass ends at an elevator and these steep stairs. That will be improved. The ramp on this side was supposed to be finished in the summer of 2020, but that will likely be postponed. Antwerp has a shared bike system. You see people cycling on the shared bicycles all the time. The many stations almost always offer enough bicycles and you often see someone getting a bicycle, which they can then use on the great new infrastructure. I used one myself in the tunnel under the river Skelt to go to the part of Antwerp on the other riverside. There too, people use the high quality cycleways that sometimes look very familiar for a Dutchman. In other places, the location of the cycleway in the street design can be very different. These crazy things are a threat to cycling in my opinion. Although they are parked neatly sometimes, they are an eyesore most of the time, and an annoyance when people zip past closely to you. I would rather see more of these wide paths for cycling, and less of these ones ending suddenly. More space where it is needed, and the future for cycling in Antwerp will look bright.